Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. Tonight we are getting a clearer picture of teens who may be breaking curfew. As Delane Cleveland explains, curfew violators aren't necessarily out to cause trouble. Minneapolis and the surrounding suburbs are vibrant places, even in the middle of winter. But late at night, after many businesses have closed, anyone younger than 18 without adult supervision could be in violation of Hennepin County's curfew law. I was picked up by the police last summer. I was downtown around 11 p.m. on a weeknight, which was after curfew. Yet rather than getting a ticket, this Minneapolis teenager named LZ took part in a diversion program, which was the main focus of a news conference organized by Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman. They're hanging out. Uh, they can be victims of all sorts of things, including robberies, uh, assaults. But instead of going into the juvenile justice system, we wanted curfew violations to be handled in a more meaningful way. Freeman's office partnered with a Minneapolis-based nonprofit called The Link, which provides support to Twin Cities youth. We definitely see youth coming in from the sur suburban areas, and curfew is definitely an issue within all of the different cities across the metro. Beth Holger Ambrose is the Link's executive director. We see a lot of youth, frankly, out there past curfew because they're experiencing homelessness or poverty or neglect, and so they literally don't have anywhere to go. During the six-month pilot program, the county attorney's office handled 313 cases of curfew violations. Two-thirds were deferred to the link. So we can help them get connected to housing, back into school, um, help them getting their basic needs met, mental health counseling and things like that. The hope is that by providing that support, kids can stay out of the justice system. None of these young people that are out violating curfew are bad kids. They're amazing, they're resilient, they're smart, and they have goals for themselves. Most of the kids in the curfew diversion program come from Minneapolis, but since the program started, eight have come from Brooklyn Park and Maple Grove, seven from Plymouth, and four from Brooklyn Center. Mike and Alex, as of June 1st, when the program first started, all of the youth found past curfew are being diverted to the link. That's unless they had pending juvenile delinquency petitions in court. All right. So, thank you, Delaney. Thank you,